Game one here at Eden Park of three for the Chapel Hadley series between New Zealand and Australia. A rematch, really, of that classic pool match in the World Cup around 11 months ago. New Zealand triumphing that day and a very, very small run chase for Australia. They weren't able to get home. Martin Guptill, McCullum, Williamson, Nichols, Elliott, Anderson, Ronke, Santner, Milne, Henry and Bolt. The same team New Zealand played against Pakistan just three days ago on the same surface for Australia. David Warner, Sean Marsh, Steve Smith, George Bailey, Glenn Maxwell, all household names. Mitchell Marsh and Matthew Wade and James Faulkner, the closer they're calling him these days, uh, are the all-round bracket. And John Hastings, Kane Richardson, new players in the ranks, really, as they look to rebuild Australia. Here are the highlights of New Zealand's batting performance. Yeah, after a few wild swings, all of a sudden, Brendan McCullum charged on the wicket and hit one in the middle of the bat. And that got him going, as it often does. Bit of top edge there for six, but the momentum with him. Now, I'll remember that shot for some time. That was massive. It just went up and it never came back. A little bit of tricky carry on from McCullum. He was entertaining everyone here, and they were really appreciated. The other end, Gupta was being very selective with his hitting. before Faulkner managed to get a Yorker right on the money and take the first wicket. That fell at 79. Williamson made a rare mistake pushing out in front of himself, something he just does not do, and Hazelwood had his wicket for a duck. There was a very good partnership worth 100 between Guptill and Henry Nichols, who I thought played very well. That was Guptill's 50. Nichols did a really good job where early on in his innings, when he needed to find the boundary, he did. Very selective, very controlled. Got to just carry on and in the usual vein we've seen from him, and he really did have a hundred in the offing. Then all of a sudden he just took off looking for a quick single. Nichols was not interested at all, and Guptal went for 90. And the partnership was broken. The next two partnerships out of 24 and 25 but things things were still going along okay i thought Elliot was looking quite promising as he made his way through to 21 had a run a ball doing a good job but when he went a little toad shot that just lobbed away and after nichols brought up his 50 and then departed with the top edge. Things went south very, very quickly for the Black Caps, and they really did struggle to keep the run rate up. And for a while, 300 looked like it was, well, not going to be achieved. Until Mitchell Santner found the boundary with a couple of good blows later on in the innings. Ronke looked like he might cut loose after a slow start, but he got an absolute ripper of a Yorker from Hazelwood. It was left to the tail to just try to add the necessary runs to get something up over 300. What a catch. That is a heck of a catch from Folk He's a good cricketer, that bloke. Great shot. Always in control, Sean Marsh there. Just a case of finding the gap. Edge and gone. Big wicket. Henry strikes in just the second over, and that's the end of Sean Marsh. Angling on about middle and leg just holds enough. And that's a smart catch because when the batsman's looking to play on the onside, it can be quite difficult for a slip fieldsman. But a good tidy catch by Guptill made it look simple. Marsh gone for five, ten for one. Oh, man. They nearly had it. So close. Didn't get all of it. Got enough. Get four as well. And Adam Mill was just hunting up inside the circle. Got him! That inside edge! That good old inside edge! 
in this one. May have just come back off the seam ever so slightly. Smith gone then. Bold Henry for 18. And Australia 33 for two. You make one semblance of a mistake. It'll cost you. Is it worth having a look at this? Was it high? George Bailey has the key here. Big key. You have to. You have to ask the question. It's too big a wicket. He's not a tall man. Oh, his mate set him on his bike. When he struck both feet off the ground there, I'm thinking to myself, that's high. Very high. That got Derek Walker. It got George Bailey. It got David Warner. 39 for three. Got it this time, has Anderson. He went full, did Matt Henry. Does not make the same mistake twice. And George Bailey. Well, he's gone as well. Tremendous spell from this young man. Goes full, George Bailey just trying to whip the ball onto the onside. No mistake from Anderson this time. Just the two to George Bailey's name. And a further blow for Australia, 40 for four. Maxwell, third ball, gone to go over the top. And a hell of a catch there from Kane Williamson, one-handed. Glenn Maxwell, a big fat zero next to his name. Australia, all sorts of strike, five for 40. This time, Mitchell Marsh departs. but has got another three apiece now for him and Henry. Great bowling there from Trent Bolt and success for being patient at what he does and just going across, across the face and a, and a good safe catch there by Brendan McCullum. Six for 41 plays, eight for 307. It'll be on the line later. Lovely shot. Very nicely played from Matthew Wade. Four runs. Pulls that one away nicely, does Faulkner. Short, angled in a leg stump. That's a quality shot. High in the air this time. Will it go all the way? I think it might. I think it's gone. It has. Gone for six. Ten runs from the Mill Nova. 79 for six. What a shot. What a shot. It's a heck of a shot. Second tier to a ball 144k quick. That's an edge, and that's four. The plans so very nearly came together. 100 up now for Australia. Now, this is a chance. It should be taken underneath it. Very high. Got it. The partnership's gone. It's gone many a mile into some bowls, that, and you can see Wade getting right under it, almost scooped it in the end. Way into the early evening sky. He's out for 37, and the Australians teetering at 120 for 7. Bowled him, straight away. Faulkner comes down the wicket, and Milne strikes. Well compiled 36 from James Faulkner under a lot of pressure. The score now 8 for 121. Oh, I might have one first up. Very first ball. Looped it up outside off. Williamson takes the catch. Richardson on his way for 19. Nine for 148. Catch that. And this could be it. Who's getting under this? Who wants this? Martin Gupta wants it. He had an emphatic say earlier in the day, and he has the last say tonight. And they'll be a bit shell-shocked, one would imagine, because their run chase was thwarted so early on in the piece. In fact, when they were 6 for 41, we wondered if they'd get to 100. But uh, some good batting and some good hitting. Brendan McCullum setting very attacking fields, enabled Wade and Faulkner to get stuck in. Richardson towards the end. But really, that is uh, so out of character for Australia because this side, this bowling attack, were at them. They were in their face. They were accurate. And they were very threatening. And in the end, the fielding too came to the party. It was a clean out.